What's up guys, Jesse here with a quick overview of Lee and Lee's newest offering, The Odyssey X. This case was teased a couple of years ago at Computex. This is the final version that they recently just released. The case is packaged in one box with separate sections. The glass side panels, the front panels, the top panels, and a separate replacement panel which we'll get to more of in a little later. First things first, let's take a look at the interior in quote-unquote standard mode. You will see several mounting options for triple fans or radiator support. The case can fit three 120 or three 140 fans at the top, side, and the front. It's also able to fit a 360 or 420 radiators. You can mount an ITX, MATX, ATX, and EATX motherboards in this case. The rubber grommets are also conveniently placed beside the motherboard tray. The case has a removable and transferable shroud that will hide the PSU cables. It also comes with an adjustable removable pump or reservoir mount, and another pump or reservoir mount at the bottom. As mentioned earlier, you have plenty of radiator and fan mount support. You can also mount the radiator or fans beside the motherboard, and at the front and the top as well. Looking at the back of the case, you have the mounts for your storage. Based on what we see here, you can mount three 3.5 drives or three SSDs. You will also notice Velcro tie-ins for your cable management. The top cut patterns are slightly reminiscent of the patterns found in the O11 Dynamic XL. Your front I.O. panels will have two USB 3.0 ports, your audio and mic jack, a USB Type-C port, and your power button. There isn't a reset switch or RGB button since this case does not come with any built-in RGB lights. The features we've covered so far are just standard features comparable to almost every other case there is. So let's talk about what makes the Odyssey X truly special. Let us begin with the motherboard tray. By removing a number of screws, you can detach the motherboard tray and the PSU mount. By flipping the case, you are able to remove the radiator or fan mount and replace that section with the motherboard and PSU tray. This allows you to have a 90 degree mounted motherboard inside. The case will come with a replacement panel you will need to install after rotating the motherboard which you can also mount to 120 fans or a 240 radiator. Another feature is, by removing the case feet, you can move it to the rear and make it stand upright, giving you a standard motherboard orientation, but with a somewhat narrower looking interior, while you can still maintain the previous fan and radiator support. One thing I did notice, the plastic snaps on this case seem to be a bit loose and will need some attention when attaching the glass panels. At the beginning of the video, we showed a few panels that were packaged separately in the box. These panels will attach to what you can call top or front depending on which orientation you choose to build this case in. The glass panels snap on the case and looks like two pieces. There's a reason for that. Remove the glass panel. Screw in the attachments to the sides that come with the case. As you can see, you can bend the glass panel to create an opening, which now can alternatively snap onto the extensions that you just installed, creating an opening that Lee and Lee calls performance mode, because it's now able to let a little more air in and out through the glass panels. You can also do the same process at the back for a more uniform look. This feature looks optimal in this somewhat upright position, aesthetically, but again, it's still up to you. Once again, Lee and Lee has come out with something that is truly unique and functional at the same time, which in truth is not very common nowadays. Usually it's either give and take. You take away from function to give way to form, or you take away from form to give you function. I have no real issues with this case as far as this overview goes. Apart from the loose plastic snaps that help secure the glass panels. However, the glass panels are also screwed on at the top and the bottom so there isn't much danger of it randomly falling off to the floor or on your desk. 
Lian Li with the Odyssey X figured out a way to handle both concerns on form and function equally. The case is well built and well thought of, as expected from the Lian Li brand. Pats in the back to you all. This has been Jesse of JP Modified, Mod On.